Hey everybody, welcome back. This is my Disney train station inside my Lego city. And the train's coming by right now, guys. I just wanted to show everybody my Lego city. I know I've talked about it a few times in my video here, but outside the Disney train station here, I have the Disney Express, the Disney Railroad train. I just got some random people from the city, bystanders or passengers, if you will, on this locomotive, ready to take a tour around the city. And don't mind the mess down here, guys. My basement is not the neatest by any means. And here I have Diagon Alley, Harry Potter, and right now I just have it tucked up against other parts uh, other parts of the city for the downtown district i invite everybody to come along and join me today as we just explore the lego city if you haven't subscribed down below that would be amazing guys just trying to grow our channel and grow our instagram and then you can see off in the distance our fairground i'm going to make our way over there in just a minute this is my little yellow passenger train i just started up so instead of like normal lego tables where they use a lot of these base plates like this here and it's all a work in progress i haven't really fully decided what i want to do but i want to stay with this fabric -y, like mesh here i have so i have this felt down and i think it the felt is great because it covers a lot of area for a decent amount of price it's it's not it's very affordable as a port as opposed to filling the city with all these base plates that usually average about uh, ten dollars a plate seven to seven to ten dollars but to cover the amount of area i have it's a lot so i just went with different colors so as you can see here i have the water in blue felt and you can see all the shadows cast onto it and then the bridge here is just the london tower bridge and so eventually i'm going to have a road here and then um, some kind of switch tracks or just bump my train <laughs> some kind of tracks and then I'll have a whole street coming down here this is kind of be like what kind of make this like my Mardi Gras kind of scene here um, with, with a busy street busy people kind of spread all the way down kind of like this will be the happening place you know the business will be on the other side over here this will kind of be more like the fun activities they'll feed over into the fairground and the bells made her way down here to the basement as well so i'm just gonna feed around here we'll kind of follow the other train this is going to be my residential area i'm working on getting some build not some buildings some houses in place the feed over here so i can keep stay on the grassy area and then i'll fill it in with roads and here I have the Winnie the Pooh set. I haven't really placed into the area. I, I just set it down here. I just want to get the look of it and kind of feel it out to where I'm going to place it. Here I have the Vestas wind turbine. And I currently have this off at the moment. It does turn on. Let me uh, flick this on real quick. As you can see, everything in my city is operational and functional. That can move. It will move. It's all just ran off of batteries. And we'll have the train feeding off in the distance. And I have my ideals Lego treehouse. And this is what I was talking about, the, the city up here. This will be where the hustle and the bustle, the daily grind is going to happen. And just have different things kind of going on in the city here. So I, this is a set, one of my favorite sets here. This is an assembly square set. Right next to the Palace Cinema I have on the corner. Where I'm going to have all the uh, the movies and things going on. And so inside of here there's a there's a flower shop, a little bakery, a apartment. And we got the bookshop, the police office, and the Grand Emporium right here. And then I'm just filling it in with different vehicles. This is how I, I think how I want the main city to look like. And then I run into this issue here, and if anybody has any suggestions, 
if I stick with the felt, I fill everything in with base plates. It's so when I fill everything with base plates, I have to go with all different colors. So then what color do I put here? Do I put green as I feed into the entrance to the fairground over here? And here I just have a display, display of the crocodile locomotive. And you can see the description here for guests to look at as they enter into the amusement area, the amusement park with the fairground and a Tower of Terror like ride, drop ride. And I'll get that going in just a second here. And a carousel, a Ferris wheel, and a little scrambler type ride over here off into the corner. And then just kind of filling it in with different things. And little rides of sorts just spread about. And then I just, little miniature little Lego sculpts which I did kind of to put in here like um the Statue of Liberty and things like that nature. I'm gonna follow the train around. Don't mind my, my camera skills today guys trying to move around this city is a little tasking so let me get this tower right going and I'll I'll come back up front and show everybody what this looks like. So you can see the ride here and then I pull up just drop back down. I just wanted to have everybody journey along with me today as we explore the Lego City and it's forever a work in progress and ever changing and then uh, I got a downtown diner here, detective office, the Parisian restaurant. Here it's kind of not, not sure their final resting place and where everything's going to be. And I did start the, the carousel up there in the background. But I just wanted to show everybody my Lego City. It takes up, let's say, a good 300, 350 square feet with everything I got here. And then I have all the storage boxes underneath that everything came in. And then... I am making this little snow town off into the distance. I wanted a mountain theme with people just uh, snowboarding and skiing. So this is, I, it was too big to fit into the city. But so I just wanted a little winter village area. And so I have a little ski hut here over here and different things going on in the snow. So I thought that was, that was pretty cool. And guys, we're just going to, End the video here. If anybody has any suggestions or want me to cover some more in depth of the city or different things I have going on in the city, put your suggestions down below. I'll make sure I get to everybody. And if you haven't, guys, go check out uh, the Instagram. Uh, it's doing phenomenal right now. And um, we have lots of good things happening. Once we get to 250 subscribers on this channel, I'm going to get some Funko Mickey giveaways I'm going to be doing. And um, I'm going to have the R2-D2 uh, set review, the Lego set, coming out. And actually, that's why I had I left the box out to remind myself that I still had to do that. And that's right there. So, All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us today. And I'll just leave you with a, a glimpse of my city here.